Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to see how to install Windows 10 inside EVNG Lab. We need Windows ISO installation media to install this inside EVNG. I am going to install Windows 10 64 bit. I have already downloaded it and kept it in my download directory. I have already SSH to even GVM. First step, we have to create a new directory for this image according to the naming convention. Directory name should start with win hyphen. Then after that, you can name it anything like Windows 10. I'll copy it from the notepad and paste it into UCLI. Next up, we have to copy the ISO image into newly created directory path using WinECP software. Open WinECP now. In the host name, type your even GVM IP address, username, root, password, eve. You can give your password. Click login. Accept the security keys when you are connecting for first time. This left side displays the local directory and right side displays the evng directory. To go to newly created directory, click here. I'll copy paste my directory path and click OK. From the local downloads directory, select the downloaded ISO image, right click, select upload. Click OK. It will take some time. Next, go to the newly created directory through CLI. Use this command cd opt unit lab add ons qemu win hyphen windows 10 type ls. Here you can see our uploaded ISO image. Next rename the ISO file to cd-rom and dot ISO. Use this command mv type the image name. You can copy from above line. Type cd-rom dot ISO. Type ls. Now our file name changed into cd-rom dot ISO. Next, create a new virtual hard disk named prtioa.qq2. Disk size can be chosen as per our needs. I'll go with 60 gig. I'll copy paste this command. Now we can check using ls command. Here you can see two files installation media ISO CD RAM and virtual hard drive. Now we are ready to start installation. Go to your EVNG web login page. Add new lab. I'll name my lab win-test and save. Right click on blank space. Select node. Look for newly created windows. RAM I'll choose 8 gig. It will make faster installation. Click save. Right click to add network, select cloud zero. This will give internet connectivity to our windows. Now I will connect windows to cloud. Start the windows now. It is started. Double click to open the console. Windows installation is started. It will take some time. Now in the window setup, languages to install English, time and currency format English, keyboard yes and click next. Click install now. Now accept the license terms. Click next. 
choose custom install this is the important step here we do not have any hard drive to install windows iso choose load driver click browse select floppy disk drive b select storage select 2003 r2 select amd64 i am installing 64 bit image if you are using 32 bit select x86 click ok driver is loaded click next You can see the hard drive here, which we have created before, that is 50 gig. We will create a new partition, click new, click apply, click ok. Windows partition is created, in the second hard drive we will install our windows. Click format, click ok. Click next. Now installing windows. Next windows it is asking about region. I will choose United States. Next keyboard layout. I will choose US. Click yes. Do you want second keyboard layout? I will skip for now. Next sign in with Microsoft account. But I will go with domain join instead. Here I have to give my username, type your username, click next, here type your password, confirm your password, click next, here we have to answer three security questions, you can choose your own. Click next. Click next. Click next. Do more across devices with activity history. I'll say no. Get help from your digital assistant. I'll decline now. Choose privacy settings for your device. I'll disable all the options. Click accept. Now it says hi, we are getting everything ready for you. This might take several minutes. This is Windows 10 desktop. Now we will check the IP address. Go to command prompt. Type IP config. This is the IP address it dynamically received from local network. This is our default gateway. Before deploy this into EVNG lab, we can install whatever we want and after that we can make it as default windows. So I'll download Putty and add into windows now. Next, I will download TFTP server and add into Windows. Now we have successfully installed Putty and TFTP server inside our Windows desktop.
Now we have to commit all our changes and one important step we have to shut down the windows now. Next commit the installation to set it as the default image for further use in EVNG. For that we need three details labs UUID, pod ID and node ID. To get your UUID, choose the lab details. This is our UUID. I already have it in my notepad. Next pod number. Pod number is assigned to your username. To find the pod ID, close the lab, go to management, user management, Username is admin, pod number is 0. Note down this value. Next, node ID. To find the node ID, go back to lab, right click on windows. Here you can see our node ID is 1. Note it down. Now we have to edit this command. So copy and paste this command in notepad. Here we have to change our lab UUID. Pod ID is already zero. Here we have to replace the new node ID. Okay. Now co copy this edited command. We will go back to our UCLI. Paste it here. Now we are in the new location where we installed our image. Now to commit all our changes, copy this command, go to UCLI, paste this command, it will take some time. Now image is committed. Last step, we have to remove installation media from our windows directory. Go back to windows directory using this command. Copy it, go to UCLI, paste it here. Now type ls. Here you can see our installation media cdrom.iso is here. We will remove it now. Use this command. Type rm hyphen f cdrom.iso. Type ls. Now installation media is removed. Now we will go back to lab and test all our changes. Create new lab. I'll name it win-10-test. Save it. Now we will add newly installed windows. Right click, select node. Look for windows, select new windows image, here you can see RAM is 4 gig, click save. Now I will start the windows, double click to go to console. Now windows is starting. Here you can see party terminal and TFTP server which we have installed earlier. Now it became default image for windows. Today we have seen how to install windows image inside EVNG. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel.